Hello everybody, welcome to a very exciting game of Blood Bowl. We have probably the best Bretonian team of all time in the Chalice, with a team so good that it's got four guard players on the bench. <laughs> Versus halflings. So, you know. Yep, I'm sure this is going to be amazing. Um, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> there is a ray of hope for the halflings. They do have, they do have Morg. Though he's, of course, he's not as good as Blood Bowl 3 Morg. He's got Zara, who is better than Blood Bowl 3 Karla Von Kill. And marginally. And he's got two rerolls. He stole two rerolls with the uh, Chef. He's, which, obviously, he's got the Chef. He's got a Bribe. He's got a Wizard. <laughs> well, this, it's fair enough, right? Because he wants the Dirty Player for some reason. And these, th these three guys on the OS are just going to get nailed by Mighty Blow, you know? They've all been knocked over by Mighty Blow. So what's the point in having three guarders and three armor seven guarders on the OS just to get there? It's like, it's insane that, like, that's how good the team is. That not only is he benching four guard, it's correct that he's benching four guard. Arguably, you can argue that he shouldn't have played fielded this guy. You could have definitely argued that one of these, you know, either the block guard or the wrestle guard is better than this guy. But, um. Yeah, you know, what's he got? A strength four. Move up, blodge step. Strength four, blodge. Tackle, guard, dodge. Really nice. And. The flings don't, like, have anything on the flings. They've got a break tackle guarder, move up guarder. Move up, break tackle, sorry. Yeah, guard break tackle, move up break tackle. Oh, and they've got they've got this guy. Block, sidestep, sprint. No sure feet. Okay, well whatever. I don't know what they look like. Hello, fuck streamer. Going for Morgan, maybe his idea was to just uh, blitz Morgan foul him then. Which isn't terrible. Wonder if you should put more people in and hit him with Wrestle Mighty to, uh, you know, to then foul if if you really wanted to foul. Oh wow, the Blodge Stepper, the Blodge Stepper harassment is just going to be horrific for the uh, for the flings. I mean, flings are terrible, aren't they? It's. <laughs> They do have a chance, you know, but they are also terrible. If you don't think they're terrible, you're an idiot. <laughs> that's, that's how simple it is. They are objectively terrible at football, but of course they can still win. Things can happen. Yes, new dad, I am going to play Blood Bowl 3 like a mad lad. Nah, nah, Frosty, they're not, it's not that bad for them, but it's it's not good for them, is it? Even when you store this shit, I mean, you know, he still, still does way better with real teams, doesn't he? You know? Also, Artemis is better than store, confirmed. <laughs> So there you go. Glorious. Can't, no, even, I won't give in. can't even pray Until store I'm anymore. Victorious. What an absolute shitter. And I will defend. I will defend. Yeah, he's got about 80 odd with Skaven. So there you go. Glorious Dice Law, thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, the dark blue Matthew into the sky blue man. See what you've done. So interesting, rolling some dice to try and get this going.
But that was a GFI. And that's maybe maybe shouldn't have done that. <laughs> these are all around here. This seems like a bad turn from David, isn't it? All these guys up here. And then doing that extra two plus. Hmm. Super interesting. There you go, gets the big power, needed that power. And the blodger. Can move up here in the cage, can't you? He's just gonna foul. Is that what he, couldn't you? I guess if you use the corner, this is a cage corner, then you bring all these guys into play. So maybe uh, just, just stay back and foul. I definitely want the ball on the blocker as well. 100%, like, I don't see why you don't have the... Wow! I don't see why you don't have the ball on the block and foul with the other guy. That's just surely incorrect. There you go. Apple works. Huge apple. Um, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Like... Carry on your blood step. Maybe, maybe Tom is. Yeah, oh yeah, because he stood afterwards, didn't he, for a little bit, and then he moved away, so yeah. So maybe it was a misclick pickup. Dara has done some misclicks before. He's a bit of a misclicker, a known misclicker. <laughs> a well-established misclicker. Which is not good, is it, with the flings? You know, a team more than most where you absolutely have to uh, play perfectly. Oh! Well, kills a, kills a peasant. Yeah, this is surely a mistake. Just surely. Maybe try to get up to a tree. Oof. This two probably wanted to go back. It's going to be a struggle to score here. They're probably going to have to just try and camp out next to this tree. They're probably going to have to try and get to this tree, or this tree, and then, like, camp out and get thrown at the end. Yeah. It wasn't a run bad foul because he's got, he's, got a, he's got a bribe. Okay, now he hands off, so yeah. That almost confirms it as a misclick, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think he encounters a run bad foul when he's got a... Oh, wow. Kaz there. It's gone pretty well for the flings now with three removals versus none. Oh, don't go there. Go here. Like, go there, even. I would have gone even one over. Yeah. Surely, surely this guy should be here. And maybe he's could have tried these dodge outs as well. Miss Clicker, yeah, yeah, yeah. Randall comes in. That's pretty great. Yeah, that's pretty great. I think he had one. Uh, Flicky made one that was misspelled count. <laughs> Which I thought was be better than misspelled tree. <laughs> but Miss Click is pretty good. Wow, doesn't get the power, doesn't use the last reroll. Sidesteps himself onto the sideline. Interesting. Are we going to see the uphill here? Or? He's going to blitz. Are you going to try and make a cage? Oh, it's tough, isn't it? What do you even do here? How do you keep your balls safe? Oh, just by... Did he run out of time? I mean... 
I think you should try and go somewhere and do something other than just getting smashed in the face. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like that strategy of just get pounded. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like. Giving up a guaranteed instant four dice on the ball, there had to be a better play. Maybe he ran out of time. Yeah, he ran out of time. Okay. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Don't run out of time. It was a hard turn to be like it was a hard turn, but you've got to do something, haven't you? You've got to do something on these turns. Easy surf, is it an easy surf? Not sure about that. I guess it's pretty easy. Well, there's no one to hit with. So how is it an easy surf? Well, there's now. So really, this guy should have just dodged and then hit and surf. So yeah, if you're going to do that play, if you're going to do this blitz, then this guy has just got to go here, hasn't he? And then Zara runs around and hits from here. So it was an easy surf. And that was pretty horrendous. Not making that dodge off first. I just don't think it's worth dodging and blitzing there and then doing that. Wow. Dauntless coming in clutch. Two strength of blitz is pretty ridiculous. Dead, dead. I feel like this spawn could have like just been back here, couldn't it? Here or here. It's bolted. And removed. It's not the best wizard, is it? Like it stops you getting turned off and scored on on your own drive. Maybe. Yeah, hand off to Morg. Can't even read. He's got to run all the way through. Oh, God. This is... I mean, this is like the best player to not lose. Which is, you know, probably the right thing to do. But the problem is... It's what you think is the right play to do. It's just don't lose it right now. But also you've got to win, haven't you? Like, that's the thing. So it's like, is this going to be enough to go in at half-time, nil-nil? Probably not. I'm probably not going to win the match by going in at nil-nil, using your wizard and your offense, you know? Like, it's hard for... The stars have got to align for halflings to win. So by making the kind of safe plays maybe it's not that good you know maybe that's the wrong play even though it looks like the right play yeah yes Jack Bull so it's kind of natural to like if you're a good player it's kind of natural to make plays that don't lose you that like you know that minimize your chance of losing the game but sometimes players that maximize your chance of winning the game also increase your chance of losing the game right yeah uh, you've you've seen you've seen Rick reckless play a lot of the things that I or Elliot would do would minimize the risk of us losing but by minimizing the risk of us losing we're not giving ourselves the best chance to win whereas Rick tends to give himself the best chance to win, even if it increases the chance of him losing. So there you go. And that, that's definitely the kind of attitude you need more with halflings, isn't it? <laughs> like, that's obvious, right? 
and and obviously people have personal tendencies and whether it's right or wrong depends on a lot of, like obviously there is a right answer to every situation like that we don't have blood bowl stockfish so we'll never know what the actual right answers are but there are like tendencies so you know obviously Rick and Chunter and Inarian will kind of push that envelope more than myself or Artemis or Elliot will. And obviously, myself and Artemis and Elliot think that the, think that our way is better, and and Rick and Chunter and Inarian think their way is better. But you know, I, I think the truth depends on the situation, doesn't it? So if you're playing somebody who's absolutely terrible and you've got a much better team, then I think it's definitely better to err on the side of caution. Um, not the coach, <laughs> the concept. I think it's definitely better to err on the side of caution if, if you've got a lot of advantages. And I think the less advantages you have or the more disadvantages you have, the more you have to risk it for a biscuit. And, uh, and you know, halflings versus anyone is already more in that kind of situation. And especially halflings versus super birds are definitely in that. Well, hey, no, yep. <laughs> yeah, so it's so it's not don't lose but make sure you win. It's, a, it's, it's a, there's no biscuit. Wow, there isn't, is there? That's the problem with blood ball. <laughs> Birds are a terrible team, but this is a very good bird team. Like as far as bird teams go. This is one of the best. Two strength four birds, loads of guard, some mighty blow. It's a really good bird team, as far as bird teams go. Exactly, Nolly. Yes, that's the thing, right? If it was a Chaos team with this level ups, it'd be like my uh, my Rebel Chaos team, or if it was an Orc team, or something like that. Wood Elf team, multiple stat ups and loads of doubles. So yeah, it's uh, they're still birds. Oh. Careful. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this is kind of a win for both in a way, right? The uh, wizard's gone. And Andy has stopped the score. But also, he obviously wanted to score himself because halflings are terrible. <laughs> and Dara has escaped with, you know, out of his half, nil-nil, despite looking like he was going to be one nil down, but also he's expended the wizard. So... Yeah, Paul Gone, yeah, that's true. There is a potential for uh, for Dara to make Dave all sad, but I mean, almost certainly now it's going to be a win, right? So. Very high odds. Roughly, a, roughly an 83.58% chance of winning now for Dave. <laughs> Eighty-six point five seven now. No, oh, that's made it uh, eighty-five percent exactly. I don't know how. This is diometrics. Yep, <laughs> man, diometrics is fucking amazing. <laughs> Yes, that that is the that is the thing. D two D. It tends to be how, how things go, isn't it? The kind of like better than goblins, less dicey, get closer, but still ultimately fail. Most of the time, not as bad as augurs, but bad. Strength 4 guy is able to knock down trees and morgue. 
pretty good. Kekwudi. Uh, Kekwudi favouring Dave, isn't it? That's an easy one, Kekwudi. It wasn't. It was, Flings had a better win rate than Pro Elves in the Chalice for like a long time. It was only recently that that Pro Elves overtook. <laughs> Pro Elves overtook Flings in Chalice win rate. Oh wow! Well, don't say it's over. Oh, there's a Kaz. Speak of the devil from Nolly, but only a miss next. And the miss next isn't that bad because, again, he does have too many players having to put four guards on the, on the thing. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. I mean, ultimately, like, Dara is out of rerolls, which is terrible. Had to keep that reroll for the one turn because the worst, worst comes to worst, he's going to have a chance of the throw teammate, isn't he? So he, he had to not use that reroll. He had to. He had to. Holy hostage EFI with Mold here. Like he's so much better here or here. I guess you can put him in there, yeah. Yeah, okay, that does the just the Job, I guess, doesn't it? And you can even move him over there. Oh, I don't like this farm. Gets away with it. Dahara was drunk. Is that his excuse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that foul, but Devo hasn't taken the space. And he is twat magnetizing himself. I mean, the problem for the flings is they just still can't do anything, can they? If only they'd save the whiz. Good idea, Nolly. Yeah, yeah. You need you need some excuse if you lose that match, especially as you've been saying you've already won it. <laughs> Very good, Tom Schnitz. Flicky, I'm sure, will also be drunk when he plays Chum. I'll be drunk when I play Gadenic. And I should probably be drunk for every single game of Blood Bowl Three that I play. It's a good question. Good question, Sartor. Woo! I got a drop, what's this? Oh, it's because I've got that open in the other thing. Okay. okay. Always drunk on happiness when you play good game. Devo's drunk on getting stuck on Treeman right now, isn't he? What? He didn't he didn't stun for him. Oh, because of this hit. Three, four, five, six. I would have still I would have still stood for I guess you can just move him, but then what if you're rude? I would have stayed. I would have stayed. Because now what if he roots there? It's terrible, isn't it? First action foul. Love to see it. Wrestle Morg. What a terrible idea. Oh. Not what I would have done. We can say if it's good or bad. Just kill the trees. You can't hit a wrestler with Morg, you just can't. Like, you just can't. Yeah. 
Not when there's an armor seven dude here you can smash. Or another or an armor seven like you know, block guard armor seven or a defenseless armor seven, you've got to smash one of them too. You can't hit the guy who wrestles you down. Maybe with three dice you could, but not following. Because that foul didn't work, there's a strength doing behind the line. Tackle there. Lovely spot for the tackle, it defended both sides. Getting tack on two players. <laughs> yes, no, yeah, that was that was pretty diabolical. Pretty diabolical, like not following there. I know they've got Dauntless, but you know, an assist would make them roll the dice. That was a great trade for you. That was half his team. Oh, look, and now you fucked yourself. That was really bad from Dara. And you know, he's played more games with flings and is better with flings than I am. But <sighs> I did not like that. Did I not like that? I guess he's dodging more than that's why he hasn't stood him up yet. Oh my god, and now he skulls out and still doesn't stand up, Morg. And gets his super fling cast. And chooses death over Miss Next Game. Okay. Well, Dara is definitely tilted here, isn't he? I guess he's tilted out of his mind. I mean, I only said he's better with flings than me to be polite. I don't think he's better than me with flings at all. I was just saying that to be nice, you know. He certainly played more and he's more experienced with flings than I am, but I still think I'm better with flings than he is. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Shove that up your pipe, Dara, you wuss. <laughs> I don't need to prove anything to it. None of you motherfuckers. I'll just make baseless claims. Back them up with nothing. That's that's truly the internet way. And you can, yes, Tumption is. Yes, you can. You can argue that you shouldn't, but I mean, he definitely has tilted, hasn't he? If he's picked the death there instead of the miss next. I guess it could have been a misclick. I mean, if if his tree could throw more, this would be all right. <laughs> yeah, off you go to Reddit. Yeah, look look what good facts and stuff do you on Reddit. Thirty six down votes for that guy. <laughs> he should have dodged here, shouldn't he? He should have just dodged and GFI. Like he's literally rolled more dice to get less far. He could have just gone through there. One, two, three. He's got break tackle. So he could have just gone there. Instead of going all the way around. It is, yeah, no, isn't it? It's going to be glorious. I hope nobody realises how good I am at Blood Bowl and Blood Bowl 2. I hope I never play any games. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be true. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to play games of Blood Bowl 3. Oh. There will be new people. There will be. There was lots of new people when Blood Bowl 2 started. Believe it or not. Some of them may even be here in chat. One of them might even be you. <laughs> so yes, there will be. There will be new people. For sure. 
an amazing an amazing surf there what an unbelievable surf what a play guys you won't see anybody surfed on any other channel that was the best thing i've seen in my life See, so oh wow, only badly hurt. Look at Dog Dave, or that could have easily been a miss next to something. That should have been pretty shit. Oh, Mog finally gets back into relevancy somehow. I don't really know how, but somehow Mog is back relevant. Imagine if he'd stood him up a few turns ago and like, you know, not got him stranded in the first place by wrestling down. Yikes, what is this? Is this just a, is this just a 1D for the... Yeah. A 1D with a, with a Dauntless chance. Or do you Blitz a Fling and then get Guard in? Can you Blitz a Fling and get Guard in for a 1D that way? Probably, it's probably... Uh, but then you're only pushing backwards. It's just rely on Dauntless. Wow. Wow, is that correct? You only need the push. So maybe. <sighs> Flip me. Uh, what? Because L dude's terrible at blood bowl. <laughs> is that is that why? <laughs> Oh, oh, right, he was slating Dara. Why would he, why would he follow that? Like, Devo shouldn't have followed. And there was a follow, there was a follow ages ago, the tree should have followed ages ago. And Moog should have hit a, not hit Wrestle, ever. Gonna blitz with strength four. The problem with strength four is the push is no good, right? If you blitz with strength four, the push is no good. So I'm not sure what the correct play is. It might be correct to just, you know, maybe do an uphill for a push. So I think it's close enough that I wouldn't berate anybody for uh, doing anything on that turn. For three minutes. Surf if you don't want to score, Nolly. <laughs> or roll insane dice. Yeah, so what? Good point. Good point. Play for overtime. Oh wow, the blitz. <laughs> the blitz made him start with it. <laughs> and then double skull. Wow. So there you go. Um, it was not a comedy mega dicing, which meant that the flings lost. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, and you know they could have been, they could have been like you know horrendous players from Andy to give Dara a chance, but instead, the horrendous player. Well, there, there was a bit of, there was a bit of a uh, twat magnetization, wasn't there? But um. But then Dara didn't take advantage for that, and in fact, saved Dave from himself by uh, by wrestling with Morg, and then just not using stand firm with his tree, which I thought were both terrible decisions, and that's ultimately cost him the drive. His own half, maybe he should have. It was hard, wasn't he? he did run out at the time that turn, made a misclick. Not the best game he's ever played, but you know, obviously it was really hard, a really good, really good Burt team. And David didn't do anything terrible, so there you go. Congratulations, Andy. Commiserations to Dara. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.